during displacement. Of course, they're much better than a regular bump, but they're not actual V-ray displacement, so they're taking a much less time to render. If we type normal bump, we can go ahead and see those uh, images. So it's kind of purplish definition for, for this bump. And let me show you how you can create this map. First, you gotta go to NVIDIA and download this plugin for Photoshop. It's completely free, so you can download it right here. NVIDIA Texture Tool for Adobe. And then you can place it in the plugins folder in order to have it in your Photoshop. I have it already in my Photoshop, so I'm going to take this floor map and I'm going to create from it I'm going to duplicate it three times actually four times and I'm going to use my NVIDIA tool map filter in order to create normal bump from this so I'm going to create first three samples three by three we can see it's very nice and fine defined here I'm gonna hide it I'm gonna make a new another one this one gonna be seven by seven average RGB alpha unchanged all right so we can see this one came out a little bit blurrier than this one okay so we're going to hide this again and create last one with nine by one nine right here click OK and this one came out really really blurry so now what we need to do is we need to play with opacity in order to have the sharpness and still get the nice fading effect so somewhere here I'm gonna get that effect all right now I can flatten my image and go and save as normal click save okay now we gotta go back to our 3ds max all right so now we need to clear the bump and load a normal for our normal bump to place in and here we have v-ray normal map click ok and let's drag and drop our image here of normal map that we just created and we can also add some bump to this also let's disconnect the real world parameters and let's do a little region render in order to see how this stuff works so on the left hand side i have the displacement on the right hand side i have the basic normal the basic bump so let's see now how this normal bump can actually work all right so if we take a look we can definitely see that the normal bump works much much better even in some places better than displacement it's got better definition we can see the lines almost the same and uh, yeah, the, the basic bump is just not giving this nice defined results. Okay, so this is how you can create really cool defined floor parquet by using normal bumps and no displacement mode and save some time. All right, so I hope you like it. Go ahead and watch the next video.